In this video, you'll learn how to draw this structure. It looks like the number 2, and if you examine it closely, you'll notice some interesting details. The first detail is that the 2 is made of 22 cubes. I'll move them apart so you can see them more easily. These are the 22 cubes. When I put them back together, you can see the 2 once again. Another interesting detail is that this structure can be seen in so many different ways. After we finish drawing it, we'll take a closer look at some really interesting ways it can be seen. Now it's time to draw. To prepare, you'll need a pencil and a piece of paper. I'll show you all of the steps on the screen. And I'll leave the pause button right here as a reminder that you can pause the video whenever you want more time. You can pause the video now if you want to go get your pencil and your paper. Okay, let's begin. On your paper, draw a small square. You can see that it will be near the top of the structure. Right now, your paper looks like this. Next, draw two lines to the right. You can see that they will be the length of two more squares. Go ahead and complete those two squares. And now your paper looks like this. You can see that it is a row of three squares. Now draw two lines down. Draw one here and the other one here. You can see that they will be the length of two more squares. Go ahead and complete those squares. One, two. Now your paper looks like this. It might remind you of the number 7. Now draw two more lines to the left, just like this. 1, 2. And when you are finished, complete those squares. Here is the first, and here is the second. Next, draw two lines down, like this. Draw one here, and the other here. Then complete those squares. Your paper looks like this. It might remind you of a question mark. To finish the front face, draw two more lines to the right. Draw the first here and the second one here and complete those squares as well. Now the front face is finished and your paper looks like this. You can clearly see the two. In just a moment, you'll draw the diagonal lines, these lines. But first, let me point out three ideas. Idea number one, the diagonal line will appear to be just a little longer than the width of the square. You can see that the structure is two layers deep. Idea number two, every diagonal line is the same length and every diagonal line is parallel. So when you draw them on your paper, make sure they are all parallel and all the same length. Idea number three, the lines that connect to the back of the diagonals will either be straight across like this one or straight up and down, like this one. You'll see the same idea here when you look at the end of these lines. This line connects straight across, and you'll draw this line straight down. Okay, it's time to draw the diagonal lines. From this corner, draw the first one. And then, from this corner, draw the next one. Then connect the ends. Remember, you are in charge of pausing the video whenever you want. Now move to this corner, and from there draw the next diagonal line, and then connect these ends with a line straight down. This is what your drawing looks like now. Now find these two corners and draw both diagonal lines. Draw one here and the other here. Then find these two corners and draw both diagonal lines just like this. Now your paper looks like this. From this corner, draw the next diagonal line and also draw a matching one here and connect the ends with a vertical line. Next move to this corner and draw the next diagonal, then connect these ends. Now find this corner and draw this diagonal. Okay, let's move to the left side, find this corner, and draw the next diagonal. From the end of it, draw a line straight across. There's one more diagonal line to draw, and you've probably already found it. From this corner, go ahead and draw that line. Now look closely at this corner. You can see a small space above it. Draw a line straight up. And now your drawing looks like this, and you are very close to finishing. Find the midpoint of this line, and then find the midpoint of this line. When you have found both of those points, draw a line 
straight across. From the end, draw a line straight down. Then find the midpoint of this line, and from that point, draw another line straight down. And from the end of that line, draw a line straight to the left. And from the end of that line, draw a line straight up. You are nearly finished. Now find the midpoint of this line, and from that point, draw a line to the right. And that's it. You are finished. Before I name the challenge, there are many different ways you can see this shape, and you can use color to show the way that you see it. For example, you might see six on the top, six in the middle, six on the bottom, and four more. Of course, there are also many other ways to see this. For example, you might see one group of 10 here, and another group of 10 here, and two more in the middle. You might also see two different layers, one in the front and another in the back. If you see those two layers, then you can show that using color. For example, you could use one color for the front of the shape and another color for the back of the shape. Whether you choose to use color or not, let me say congratulations on finishing the structure. If you would like to see more videos like this, then leave one or two comments. And thank you for watching. Bonus challenges. Challenge number one. How many times was two said aloud? Watch the video again from the very beginning of the video through the point where the words bonus challenges appeared on the screen, how many times was the word two said aloud? If you heard two or 22 or two, those do not count. Listen for the word two all by itself. This challenge will be even more fun if you make a prediction before you watch it again. I recommend using a pencil and a piece of paper to tally the number of times you hear two from the beginning of the video up to the point where the words bonus challenges appeared. Challenge number two, color your structure the way that you see it. We just saw some examples of using color. This challenge will give you a chance to try it, and it's also very fun. Challenge number three, draw this structure again from memory. Using only paper and pencil, see if you can draw it again without watching the video. If you want, you can look at the one you've already drawn, but can you recreate it on a blank piece of paper? Challenge number four. The video shows lines being drawn. There's only one part of the video where the lines are erased by being drawn in reverse, like this. What is the timestamp when that happens? And the advanced challenge. This video is approximately eight minutes and four seconds long. How many seconds is that? When you find the total number of seconds, think about how that number is connected to 22. Good luck, enjoy the challenges, and again, thank you for watching the video.